guys, so I'm gonna vlog today. I don't really have a lot going on, but um, if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, then you would know that it hasn't been a very good last few days because my little baby boy Jubei, um, if you guys have watched my furry friends tag, you would know who Jubei is. He's my little um, kitty and he went missing about three days ago. I'm actually on day four now and it's been like a really hard like last few days um, because you know how you just get to know your cats and stuff and Jubei is not the street smart kind of cat. He gets really really scared outside and um, usually when he goes outside it's only for like 30 minute increments and then he'll come in and then he'll go back out. It's like he has to check back because he gets scared. So um, he's not really the most street smart cat. So that's kind of why it's been so hard on me because I know how Jubei is and um, he's not one of those cats I feel like that can just like wander off and come back like three days later. So right now I'm just, I'm still kind of hoping I put up tons of flyers and things like that. But I think today what I'm going to do is go to the Humane Society and um, bring a picture in there and then check for myself to see if he is in there. Just keep thinking of all, of all these things. And I'm just stressed out and sad. You know when you lose an animal and you feel like something's missing? Like, you just feel like something's missing and like you don't feel normal. You just feel out of sorts, kind of. So it's just been really hard. Um, so I kind of hope that I can maybe go to the Humane Society today. But this is a really long first half of the vlog, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit. If you guys have any, you know, positive stories about a cat maybe that has gone missing and they came back like five or like even ten days later please let me know because like positive stories really do help so um anyways that's pretty much my plans for the day and i'll talk to you guys later what are you doing Cute bow. Can you walk backwards? Ooh. <laughs> Can you spin in circles? Do you remember how to spin in circles? Oh, walking backwards. Go buggy. You're so cute. Want to go to the Humane Society today? Want some num nums? That's her um, sign for food. Can you want num nums? Do you want num nums? She's trying to see you around the camera. Can you say kitty? Say kitty. Oh yeah, is that a kitty? No, that's Appa. Where's the kitty? Right there. There's a kitty. <laughs> Are you looking at it? <laughs> it's kitty. Here's grandma. And here's a picture that I'm going to use. Isn't that the cutest little picture in the whole world? Oh, I just freaking love it. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to print. And hopefully that will help find him. <laughs> it's a vlog day. What the heck? <laughs> it's a vlog day! Okay, buggy, come here. Come here. Go get daddy. Come here. Go get him. I knew it. I knew it. Are you going to go help mommy find Jubei? We're going to go get pictures developed too, huh? <laughs> Alright you guys, so I am at Fred Meyer right now. And if you don't know what Fred Meyer is, it's basically like a drugstore slash grocery store here where I live. And I'm going to bring pictures in because I have not gotten pictures developed of Elena or my animals or anything for like a year, I swear. It's been that long. So I just like to have physical pictures in my hand. I just feel so much better that way because I'm always afraid my computer's going to crash and I'm going to lose like all my pictures. So I'm just getting some developed so I can have some. And I need to frame a picture of Jube. Because I, seriously, I have a picture of uh, Yuki framed and a picture of Appa framed. And I don't have a picture of Jubei framed in my house and I'm so sad. I feel really bad and I just never noticed. So, 
Do you see pictures? Where's the baby at? Where's the baby at? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a baby? It's almost done. It's almost done. So I'm sitting here waiting for my pictures to look and it's taking forever. It's only this far done and it's like taking forever. But I have 258 photos so that might be why. So I just got done doing my pictures and the guy was like, oh, I was like, how long do you think it's going to take to get these pictures developed? And he's like, oh, well, um, 250 pictures is a lot of pictures to print off, so probably a while. I'm like, is that weird to get pictures developed? Like, 250 pictures developed? Like, I don't think that's a very weird. I, mean, I just thought that was weird. He was acting like I was, like, super weird for getting that many pictures developed. But I don't care. So I'm going to come back after I'm done at the Humane Society to pick them up. I think I'm going to go through the car wash because my car is so dirty and like I've been really anal about this car ever since we bought it like I literally want to go through the car wash like every week because I want to keep it like super clean um like with my old car I like was not anal at all like I maybe got it washed like twice a year at most right, so I just got here to the Humane Society and if you guys didn't know I actually got Yuki my first cat at this Humane Society I'm like full on like all about Humane Societies like I if I ever get an animal, it's going to be from a Humane Society. So, I got Yuki from here. I got Appa also at a Humane Society, but it was a different one. And seriously, every time I come here, I want to get a new cat. Like, it's seriously the saddest thing ever. So, oh. look at the kitties. Oh. Is that a kitty? Is that a kitty? Hi, kitty. And then Rachel does not have any that one. So kitties. You went down to look? Yes. Look right here. And you can handle her. Just be really slow with her. Is that a kitty? Just because she just came in. Oh, look at this one. It's a baby. Oh. That's so cute. Do you like the kitty? Look. It's a baby like you. <laughs> oh. All right, so we didn't have any luck with Jube. I kind of figured. I thought it would be like a pretty big miracle if he was there, but it was worth a try. I was like crossing my fingers the whole time like I was gonna reach a cage and then Jube would be there, but it didn't happen. So here we go, into the car wash. When I was little, I used to be so scared of car washes. Like, it was my biggest fear. Like, my mom would have to bring my blankie with me. Because I used to think these ones, like these first ones, I would always think it was Ursula eating the car. Is that not weird? I know. I was a weird kid. Are you scared? It's okay. It's okay. It's fun. It's a car wash. It's not scary. It's nice. It's not gonna hurt you. It's just kinda loud, huh? You're fine. It's okay. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but does anybody else have an irrational fear that the blowers, you know the dryers in car washes? Do you ever feel like that they're gonna like blow your windows out? Like every time I go through the car wash, I get like super, <laughs> weird at the end because I feel like the blowers are just gonna like blow all my windows in and it would just be like my death like that's how I would die my windows would be blown in by car wash blowers so I'm so excited I got my birch box I was kind of waiting for this because I don't remember I could remember if I canceled my membership or not because I've kind of been thinking about it but I gotta admit it's pretty fun getting these every month um it's just like a ten dollar subscription where you get like free um, like luxury size samples and it comes in this cute little box so it says a little something for you all right so this is it's a perfume I have a little perfume which these don't bother me if they have the squirters if these come without the squirters I hate them and I just throw them away so I got a perfume and then I got this what is this body serum made with pumpkin seed and sea buckthorn oil 
This fast absorbing oil keeps supple and hydrated. Hmm. It smells really good and you just I guess put this all over your body and it moisturizes. So that's kind of cool. I like trying new products like that. And then I got these little packets. These are, so I imagine it's just like a cleanser and little under eye masks. So see how you put that under your eyes? So that's kind of cool. And then I got a Stila lip gloss in rose gold. That's a really pretty color. Let's put it on. Ooh. Oh, this is not lip gloss. This is an all over shimmer liquid luminizer. I was like, what the heck? That does not feel like lip gloss. So this goes like on your cheekbones. And then you blend it out. That's kind of nice. I kind of like this. Do I look luminized? You got food all over your face. Want to have a dance party? Let's have a dance party. Yeah, let's go dance out here. Such a good dancer, buggy. Bob up and down. So we're heading back into Fred Meyer to get the pictures that I brought in earlier, right? Yep. You're gonna make a scrapbook out of it? I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. But I got, like, your I got like your I got like two hundred and fifty pictures of all of it. You used to scrapbook all the time. I know. I'm just too busy now. Um, and then we're gonna get some we got cereal. Video now. Yeah. We should have showed people what we bought. Lots of yummy stuff. Are you excited for the food? Do you want uh, milk? Uh, should I get milk? Yeah, you should probably get a gallon of milk. What are you getting? I don't know. They have like uh... What is it? Ooh. Popsicles. Did you get the sugar free ones? Yeah. yeah. Basically uh... We have a lot of groceries right here. It's a lot of junk food. Not really. Okay, maybe. <laughs> It's hard to eat healthy when you have a baby sometimes. Do you want to get pizzas? Oh yeah, we've got pizza. You can pick. Only get like one. Get the um, white garlic one at the bottom, the garlic chicken. <gasps> Whoppers ice cream. Mm. But we don't need that. No. This is better, mint fudge brownie. That's what I would get. <gasps> Look. Uh, I, you know what? When it comes to ice cream, I don't buy ice cream from the store anymore because I'd much rather go to Cavillo. Really? I like ice cream better. No way. Yogurt? Oh. I Cavillo don't think so. Yogurt is so much better. Do you like ice cream or yogurt better? She likes yogurt better. How about you? You like yogurt. She's like, I don't care. I just want some food. Does Buggy need bananas? Yes. But get some nanners. Make sure they're small. No, get small ones. And make sure they're kind of green. And then I need a pomegranates because that's like the best thing for this time of year. I need salads. Oh, this one's the best cherry almond blue cheese. So good. Uh, yeah, that those are good. Enough? Yeah. Now let's find the um pomegranates. Yeah. Where's the pomegranates at? I need the pomegranates. Mommy's getting pomegranates. Best fruit ever. And you saw how to. I saw how to de seed them on Pinterest. You like take a spoon and you like whack them really hard. Maybe I'll do like a video on it and see if it works. That'll be a nailed it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 